everyone welcome back to our channel startuplanes.com i am mori tanvi and i would really appreciate if you take a moment and subscribe to our channel below so guys till late i have talked about many successful brands companies uh, the founders of the companies the marketing techniques the other business techniques and stuff today also i would be talking about one such successful app so let me start the video with a question suppose you have a friend who is in need of a life partner what is the first thing you will suggest him tinder right so yes today i'm going to talking about the app tinder so let's get started so guys you all know that smartphone gave online dating a new life and app developers seized this opportunity it provided the blueprint for you know the modern games for dating app when it just decided by either swiping right or left By looking at the person profile today we are talking about a widely popular mobile dating app which now has become something of a culture phenomenon its obsess user base made up mostly of 18 to 24 years old has now grown up by million in the last few years itself within just one year after the launch the startup success earned two of its co-founders Sean Rad and Justin Mathy spots in pop 2013 Well, the company we are talking about today is none other than the millennials' favorite Tinder, and this is how it became the biggest gateway for the technology-assisted matchmaking process. Although Sean and Justin crossed their paths when they were in private high school in Los Angeles, their story begins in the first semester freshman year at the University of South California in 2014. They reconnected at the university and then both started independent companies. Justin's company was a social network for celebrities, while Sean's company uh, was a platform that allowed companies to advertise via social network of celebrities later. Later, Brad sold majority of his stake in 2012. He said that uh, he never wanted to make things for computer and strongly believed that computers are nothing but just work devices and will go extinct very soon for the people of his age the primary way to interface um, with the technical world was through a mobile device in the late january 2012 shawn was hired into the hatch logs incubators as general manager under the ceo he was given the task of building out cadif ids which was a loyalty app that rewarded users with points for swiping their credit card at the same time justin was selling off his company site canvas and was looking for a new project himself sen and justin have shared business ideas with each other for years and every idea began with a problem while tossing around with a different ideas no matter who you are you feel more comfortable approaching somebody if you know that um, they want you to approach um, they both experienced the exaction of sending smoke signals uh, through social media they believe that there are people who don't know you but still want to know you and so they are resorting the facebook shawn felt that there, there was a need to solve this problem and was interested in the idea of establishing an app of mutual interest that precedes interaction shawn and justin were joined by Jonathan and soon the team started working on the app and were getting everything in place just a few days later in the photo driven design created for apple's ios format was ready and with that the team finally launched tinder at hash labs the app's genius is that it's designed like a game with a tagline like real life but better users sign in with their facebook profile and make split second decisions on whether they like the look of someone or not by swiping left or right once the match is made the rest is up to you shawn initiated the app with an uh, intention to bridge the gaps in dating all he knew back then was that the idea was cool and it was meant to be a game where you swipe left or right to find a date or simply get to meet new people The app that kick started with a me interaction of 300 people in the University of South California went on to raise 1000 people in the first week itself. The app received such a mad craze that by the end of the first year it had crossed the swipe rate of 13 billion with 3 billion in August 11 whereas 2 million matches happened every day. 
To all those companies who spend millions on marketing and advertising, this was a big blow for them because Tinder literally spent zero on marketing. It gained momentum purely on the basis of word of mouth. The trick that worked in favor of 11 members strong company was that there was um, you know there was no fear of rejection on Tinder. There were only mutual matches that meant users could swipe all day without feeling like a stalker or risking self-esteem. In the beginning, 90% of Tinder users were between the age group of 18 to 24. But soon the app became so violent that almost Everyone from the millennial had it on their phone from Miss USA to Olympic gold medalist as the matter of fact that, you know, after the news, uh, Jane using the app went viral during um, Olympics. The app saw a 400% sun and rise in the flow that it's so hot and growing widely among Arabs that the company recently announced that it would add a verification tag to celebrity profiles. Well, um, the app successfully spreading its wings across geographies dominating its presence in multiple countries. Its addiction was also witnessed in countries like India, Australia. However, uh, just when everything was going great for Tinder, a dark cloud was forming above. This involved Justin, Nathan and Brittany. They both were in relationship, had strong feelings for each other. However, their relationship hit a roadblock and the couple broke up in the late 2014. But things turned ugly when Justin still kept harassing her. She was at work. Despite multiple requests from her, um, Justin kept on harassing her and went on threatening her too. The consequences were bad. When she realized that things were going out of her hand, she reported this to Sean in hope of resolving the matter like, like this. But this made the issue more serious. Apparently, when uh, the lady reported this to Sean, right, he responded by flirting with her. After this ugly spat, um, the lady alleged that she was informed by Justin and glad uh, that she was being stripped of her co-founder title after Justin called. At a company event, uh, Whitney sees that she offers a resignation in exchange of apologies and her company stock, but instead Bragg rejected Whitney's offer and fired her from the company. Later, Whitney and Tinder sealed, sealed the matter for just over a billion dollars. After the lawsuit, Justin left the company and Sean stepped down from the CEO's role. However, stayed on as the company. As the president, but um, while the viral success, startup wife and the founder's presence on the Forbes list of 30 bright sparks, under 30 cultivate the idea of his startup, there won't be any billion dollar buyout for Tinder. This is because Belly owes the majority of Tinder stocks. Tinder personally owned by Mars Group event public in the year 2015 and also priced its IPO at $12 at share according to the sources Match Group raised $400 billion and was valued around $4.2 billion. Back in November 2015, um, you know, Tinder is considered to compress a significant part at that time Sean owned 10% of Tinder. Well, the story of Tinder proves one thing that Doing a startup is not as glorious as people think of it. You are choosing some glamorous life like you see in the movies. The reality is much harsher when you are building a startup. It is very hard, especially a startup that is growing at a rate of Tinder. You have to be all in and you have to be committed. Solving the problem has to be personal or else you are going to crumble and things might get difficult. Sean and his team battle start difficult. In spite of loss of troubles, they never lost focus on their vision. Today, Tinder is one of the most used app in the world, but its presence is over 190 countries and an estimated 26 million matches per day. And all of this is a result of the efforts put in by all the team members of Tinder. So guys, this was it for today's video. There were many life lessons which we have learned from Tinder video. I hope this 10 minutes were fruitful enough for you. So if you have liked this video, do hit the like button. Also, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much.